Oh, let's talk about Cloud9, the AWS Cloud9. The AWS Cloud9, what is it? Uh, we look at how to spin up a new environment, you know, how to create a new environment, and some of the amazing features of the AWS Cloud9. So AWS Cloud9 is an integrated development uh, environment, an IDE, that helps you write code, debug your code, and deploy your code, of course. So, I mean, you have a rich, powerful IDE on the cloud up for you. And Cloud9 is free. You don't have to pay for Cloud9. You only pay for the compute services that is running the Cloud9 environment. So you only pay for uh, the, the instances that is powering the IDE and the volume that is powering the IDE. So that's what you pay for. And Cloud9 has this amazing feature that enables you to automatically shut down the instances powering the IDE when you're not using the IDE. So this saves you money as well. So it's not always on. So if I if I if you finish writing your code, debugging your code, deploy your code, and you are off from the from the cloud. So let's say for 30 minutes or one hour, you can configure it. Or if you don't even want that, it's all you know a feature that you can configure here in Cloud9. So let's look at uh, creating a new Cloud9 environment. So from the AWS uh, console, go to the search bar, and you can just type Cloud9. And uh, you, you have the Cloud9 pop-up pop up right here. So you can go ahead and click on that, which will bring us to this same home page that we just saw. Yeah, so you can go ahead and click on, click, click on Create Environment to create a new environment. I'll give it a name. I just call this demo 26 because today is 26. I just call it demo 20, 20. I just call it demo 26. Today is 26 of December. I'll say this is a, a demo. I'll go ahead and click on next. So you have you have the the option to choose the type of instance you want to power your ID so I mean the first option here was perfectly fine but you can get ahead to choose other uh, options if you want to like host this ID here on an existing EC2 either on premises or one that is already running on the cloud you have those options and you have uh, option to choose the instant type so uh, depending on what you want to do you know the kind of software is you want to run behind the scene on your IDE uh, let's say you want to install things like, uh, let's say, Kubernetes, maybe using Minikube, for example. I mean, you need at least 2 gigabytes of RAM, and you need at least 2 uh, visual CPUs to run such applications or to download such software. So depending on the kind of things you want to run on your IDE, go ahead and choose an instance type. I'll just go ahead and stick with the, uh, the free version, which is a free trial, but you can go ahead and choose the TS more. Which I think work perfectly fine for you know uh, small size web projects. So I mean, let's go with that. Uh, but you you also have other options. So in case you're building something for a very high you know capacity, you can go ahead and choose other instances, and you have options here that you, you can go ahead and choose. So you, you have like eight gigabyte of RAM, sixteen, and thirty-two. So depending on what you're trying to do, I mean, you have a whole of options. That enables you to do such amazing and you know powerful things right here. So I just stick with the T3. The T3 is small, which gives me two gigabytes of RAM and two virtual CPUs for the instance. And I go ahead and use the recommended platform. But though you can go ahead and use other platform like the Ubuntu server. So these are options that gives you uh, the option, sorry, the choice to choose when you want your ID to shut down. The instance, you know, passing your ID to shut down when you're not using the ID. So at default is 30 minutes, or you can go ahead and choose other, you know, uh, other times. So if you want to extend it to one hour, four hours, or you don't even want it to shut down at all, you can always go ahead and do that. Uh, you can go ahead and add your tags. It's important, you know, if you have a lot of resources, always add tags so you can always differentiate them. And you can always programmatically do something with the task when it's necessary. Uh, you can use the leave the network settings defaults, which it, it creates this uh, instance that has your ID on the default V1 
VPC but you can always go ahead and you know create your own new VPC or select a free existing new VPC that you created and you know also select a new availability zone yeah, your subnets or create a new one so I'll just leave these things at default but you can always do that if you want to so I'll go ahead and click on next step and I'll just review everything looks fine from my end uh, so I'll go ahead and click on create environment so this is going to take like less than a minute to spin up so this is very fast and I love it so behind the scene what we have here is uh, a new a new uh, virtual machine for an IDE that you can access from anywhere so I mean I can access this from my terminal sorry from my tablets I can access it from you know a very com a very light computer that doesn't have so much power and I can do amazing things with the resources I have here Cool, oh, we're almost done some more amazing features I love about the cloud now is the share option so I can collaborate in real time with someone else using the share option and I can share my environment with someone else in real time have a real chat right inside my IDE that's amazing so for pair programming that's an amazing feature okay and we are all up here and here we go so you have your terminal right here with you so I mean you can go ahead and use the terminal uh, let's say I can go ahead and create a new uh, folder so make directory I just call this demo 26 and you have that right here I, I can't even go more far and click a file so touch demo 26 sorry 26 slash I just call this app.py and I'll just go ahead and open this file so I'll expand this folder the click on the file and you have it right here let's just go ahead and print a very simple hello world and I know you may be wondering so control s to save I mean how am I writing Python immediately so Python is installed right here so you can check that with the version Python uh, that's that version Python is, is pre-installed on this environment which is awesome I don't need to install Python uh, we also have Docker pre-installed. You can check that out as well. You can work with Docker containers. You also have Node.js pre-installed as well. So this is an amazing, uh, I mean, pre-installed software. I mean, and if you work with Node.js a lot, we also have NVM pre-installed here. The Node version manager pre-installed for you. So you don't need to worry about installing all these things. And this ID supports a lot of languages, Python. Node, JavaScript, you know, C++, Ruby, and I mean, you can do a lot of things that you do on your local machine right here. I mean, we have the option of bringing in files from our local machine as well. So if I click on this folder right here, I go to file. I mean, you have the option to upload local files. So I mean, I can go ahead and upload local files from my machine, or you know, bring in a whole new folder, which is awesome. I can also go ahead and download this particular project to my local machine. See that? Download project. I can always do that. So you have a whole lot of options, save, save out. You know, everything you have in your, in your local integrated ID on your native ID, you also have it on this cloud based ID. You also have the option of starting a new that file from a template. You know, I mean, I can start a simple Node.js web server right here. Look at that. I can just go ahead and save this and I can just go ahead and save it and run it. And here we go. So I mean server is listening on port 8080. I mean I can I can go back to my IDE and I can call the 8080 so localhost 8080. And we have hello from AWS Cloud, which is uh, what we expected to have. So, I mean, this is an amazing, amazing rich IDE that we have right here. I mean, just, I'll go ahead and close this. Mm -hmm. I'll also go ahead and run our Python app. Just click on the run. Or you can always run it from the terminal. Uh, I mean, I can CD into demo. Space and I can go ahead and do 
python app.py to run the app and you have available in terminal so that's amazing amazing features that we have here and you can always change the view you know if you want to change this theme to uh, maybe a lighter theme so you can always do that so that you can preview what it is day night that so whatever you want to do you can always do it right here change your team write your code configure uh you know configure your your github or bit pockets you also have the aws explorer right here so you can communicate with your resources directly from here uh, you can also communicate with the resources from your terminal and uh that's it that's it that uh, you, you can collaborate which is uh a nice option so i mean if you have invited someone using the share option you can have a real chat with them right here and they will be able to see you know chat with you and you know be able to collaborate you know pay programming have access to your your id and do a lot of stuff so this is amazing amazing you mean you can go ahead and you know check out other things you can do here i know we have auto complete as well then variables i mean a lot of options you can go and configure right here as you just go ahead and check uh cloud night out is amazing you can change the size and other things you can do so amazing amazing if you have a, a, a low end uh, hardware you can go ahead and use cloud night to build your software with no stress it's on the cloud and like i say it's free you don't only pay for the computer service and you can always sign up for for you know a free trial and you can use uh cloud nine for free absolutely free within the next 12 months you know if when you sign up for aws accounts you have free trial for 12 months which is amazing and other resources you also have for free for the next 12 months so i mean that's cloud nine uh, and that's a snappy overview of cloud nine so you just go ahead and check your out you also have source control i mean you can Connect GitHub and other source control uh, platforms right here, and you'll be able to communicate efficiently from your terminal and other things you you plan to do. So this is a full rich IDE that helps you you know write codes on the go. So I mean you can access it from your terminal, for, sorry from your tablet, uh, from your phone as well, and you know write code, debug code on the go, which is awesome. So I mean. I hope you enjoyed this video and I mean if you do just subscribe okay and enjoy your holiday bye guys